Hello everybody and welcome to Provis Gaming and FTL. It stands for Faster Than Light, if you guys don't know. This is a sci-fi roguelike game that released in 2012, and since then has also received a major content update with the Advanced Edition. Pretty fun. It is a really, really good game that is also really, really difficult. I don't know why I haven't played on this channel before, maybe because I just don't want to look like an idiot as I get myself killed. I have tried two test games prior to this and have died horribly both times. So, let's see how well we fare. The story here is that we are playing as the captain of a ship trying to deliver crucial information to the Federation before the Rebels are able to catch up with us and kill us all. We have to choose our ship to start off. The Kestrel here is your default ship if you are brand new to the game. It is actually a really good ship. However, since I have played the game before, we have unlocked a few different variants, which could be kind of fun. The Osprey here, for example, uh, has a very diverse crew, which is quite nice. Gives you a lot of options to get some uh, better events. Also has a special little uh, doohickey called the Artillery Beam, which can shred through an enemy ship. However, however, it has a very, very long cooldown. I think we're going to go ahead and give this one a shot today. Now, I, as I said, this game is very difficult. Easy is not exactly easy. I lose often on easy. Normal is very difficult, and hard is just ludicrous. So the odds of me surviving this run seem incredibly unlikely. But let's give it a shot. The date you carry... Sorry, data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing Rebel fleet can catch up. All right, here we are. These are all of our different subsystems. We have a crew member manning a few of them to try and make us a little bit more effective. Uh, and we are going to immediately jump to the next sector. So here's our beacon map. You have to make several different jumps to the beacons in order to get to the exit. And uh, from the left of the map, you're going to see a wave of the red fleet, the rebel fleet, chasing after you. And if you get caught in that, you're pretty much just doomed. So we have to outrun them, but I also want to hit as many of these beacons as possible because... Uh, it gives me more opportunities to get the scrap. Scrap is a resource that we need to upgrade our ship to buy new stuff. We need as much of it as possible to have a chance against the final boss. So what we're going to do is jump straight into a nebula. This slows down the rebel advancement a little bit. We feel naked without functioning sensors. We have expected rebel ship to appear, but nothing comes. All right. And let's go ahead and jump into the next area. Nothing lucky there. We get a damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula, this beacon. Before you have time to contact them, they fade into the nebula. Attempt to follow and help them? Sure. While searching fruitlessly through the nebula, you stumble across the rebel ship from which the rebel loyalists... Sorry. Federation loyalists were likely hiding. You prepare for a fight. All right. So 50 seconds is what we have to wait for this artillery cannon to rip them apart. In the meantime, all we have to our advantage is this burst la laser. Let's go ahead and turn off the medbay and get slightly better evasion chance in our engines. We're going to want to shut down this guy's weapons, probably, since he does have missiles that can pierce our shields. And that would be a big problem. The good news about the burst lasers, it fires off three bursts. So it'll pierce the lasers, I'm sorry, the shields, and hopefully do some damage. And they missed us, thank God. We missed them. Bad. Bad news bears. Let's try that again, shall we? Ouch. He hit us. A little bit of hull damage, but didn't hit any major subsystems. Okay, we were able to shut down something. But not much, and not for long. There goes our med bay. Good thing I wasn't planning on using that anytime soon. Let's try knocking out his shields next. Okay, we missed. That's stupid. What is this thing? Which drone is this? Oh, it's an advanced drone Mark II. He shoots down my lasers. Well, no wonder we're struggling as much as we are. All right. Well, let's try to hit his weapons and knock out that missile. Nope, he gets another missile off. But the good news is here comes our artillery gun. Waboom! Rips right across, shuts down the rest of his uh, west of his weapons, and also knocks out his drone. So we should be able to rip him apart from here. Not much of a threat. He wants to retreat. Not a chance. I think we can get better rewards by murdering you. Let's send the NG guy over here. Oh good, there's a breach in the hull, causing a lack of oxygen. Well, that's a problem. He brought his weapons back. No! Thank you. Alright, he's dead. 18 scrap. And the repair bay is up and running. Well, it's about to be anyway. Turn it on and get our guy back up to full health. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so that is one fight. We didn't take a whole lot of damage there. Could have been a lot better. Could have been a lot worse. Um, let's stick in the nebula. Here comes the red wave I was talking about. Go this way, I think. As long as we can outrun them, we'll be fine. 
And there's a storm here, a plasma storm. Also a rebel scout. Yay! And I don't have enough... Oh, God. I don't have enough power for basically anything. Well, crud. This is a problem, ain't it? Let's try turning on my shields. We're not going to be able to dodge anything, but hopefully we can at least save ourselves a little damage. We have no oxygen, which means we have to win this fight fast. At least he has no shields. That does help a lot. So I can knock out your weapons, I'll feel a lot better. There we go. Alright, let's turn on those uh, the oxygen again so we don't have to risk any death. He can't do any damage to us. It is just an automated drone anyway. I think it does repair itself, but not by much. So there we go. Alright, that actually worked out fine. Little scary, but we made it. 14 more scrap for us, a missile and a drone part. A distress beacon. We'll come back to that. Let's stick in the nebula, try to get another jump in there while we are slowing down the Rebel fleet. And that is a much bigger ship. An advanced Rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small Rebel space station. However, without functioning sensors, it is impossible to tell what is inside. We can attack the automated ship and try to get into the station and see if there's anything good, and I think that we have to do that. Get our shields up, please. Uh, also our evasion chance. And he is hacking my engines. That is very, very rude, sir. Uh, he has an ion weapon to disrupt my, uh, shield, and then once he succeeds, he has a beam weapon to do a lot of damage. We're gonna want to shut down those weapons as quick as we can. Please don't have time to use your- Oh, there's the beam weapon, and there goes my artillery cannon. Alright, well, we traded. He lost his weapons, so we'll be fine. Uh, let's shut down his shield to make it easier to kill him. I mean, this isn't just more or less a victory now. We took a little bit of hull damage, but it's not a huge deal. There we go, no shields left. Easy mode. Easy mode. Alright, you get back over here. Now, uh, I do like to have um, people operating uh, as many of these stations as possible, namely engines, shields, and weapons. Your different crew members can gain experience in those different categories. Uh, and obviously, you'd like them to be as skilled as possible for a few extra boosts. So, yeah. Let's we'll just make sure that we keep people in their position for as long as possible. There goes that ship, that's 16 more scrap. The station was apparently designed to outfit Rebel ships with drone systems. You find a functioning hull repair schematic. I don't know if I have any immediate use for that since I don't have any drone control, but at a store, I might be able to sell that and get some free scrap. Let's start heading toward that distress beacon again. You come across a space station under construction. We receive a message from their command tower. Greetings! We recently lost contact with a cargo ship that was set to deliver more construction materials. Could you help us figure out what happened to them? Offer my help. Sure. Thanks for your help. I've marked their last known coordinates and sent some supplies to help you get there. So even if we don't fulfill the mission, we got a free four fuel, four missiles, and one drone part. If we can also help them, and it appears they're actually surprisingly close, then we could try to get some other benefit. Let's go to the quest. You find a missing cargo ship floating near a beacon. Thank heavens! We've been drifting here after using the last of our fuel to escape a pirate raid. Give them a requested four fuel or give them one. What happens if I give them a requested? Do they give me a huge benefit, or if I give them one? We did get four for free. Let's give away the four and see what we get. 16 scrap. Okay, barely worth it. We can use that 16 scrap to buy more than four fuel. Uh, let's just double back and go to the distress beacon. Higher risk, higher reward. Let's see what we get. We get a pirate fighter! Oh, goody, you're being targeted by a nearby ship. The distress call was a lure to attract unwitting ships into weapons range. Jerk! Shouldn't do things like that. No one's If you just cry wolf like that, no one's going to trust anyone. Well, the good news is my artillery gun actually can shred through these shields. The bad news is it takes forever to charge, so we're just going to have to do some damage the old-fashioned way. The other good news is he doesn't seem to actually do a lot of damage. Well, I say that. He's got an ion gun that shuts down my shields. Oh, this is going to hurt a lot, isn't it? All right, let's try to take out his weapons. Get my shields back up and running. Able to block at least one shot. And there go my sensors. Hope I wasn't using those for anything in particular. All right. Well, um... Keep trying to do damage to the weapons. Waiting for that artillery cannon to be ready, though. There we go. No more weapons for you. All right. No more damage. Now we get a shred across. Pew? He wants to surrender. Nope. You're dead. Thank you. Boom. Ooh! The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap, including the long-range sensors. That's helpful. That will allow me to uh, detect what is happening in the map before we make any decisions on where to go. Very nice. Very useful. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my shields. 
We can spend two... Uh, we can spend... Well, what is it? 50 scrap. Uh, yeah, 50 scrap to get two more power bars on our shields, and then we have to upgrade our reactor twice more to supply that power, but that will give me an extra pip to our shield, which makes it a lot easier to survive in the early game, so I think that it is well worth it. And again, remember, part of all we have to do is just sort of sit back and wait until our artillery cannon recharges, we can do a lot of damage. So if we can become basically invulnerable before that, this cannon will lead us to victory. I don't think it's a very good thing to rely on, but it'll help. Alright, we can go this way. Um, still have a bit of time before we have to get to the exit. So let's find a new jump point. What do we get? Uh, no one hails my ship. Okay, nothing happened. There's a possible ship detected over here. I don't know if we're going to be able to make enough jumps to get all the way over here and then back to the exit. This may be our last jump in this sector before we have to continue. Okay. You detect a rebel scout on an attack approach on a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are charged, but they're not firing. We will intervene and defend the outpost. He is sending a drone after me to weaken my shields. That is hilarious, because here's the thing. You have this little beam weapon that can't do any damage unless it breaks through my shields, and I generate shields faster than your drone can shoot it down. Which means we have absolutely nothing to worry about. Let's try to knock out his shields. Make it a little bit easier. Yeah, this is, uh, this is easy mode here. There's not a thing he can do against us. Heck, if we could actually evade some of his shots, we would get some free XP for our pilots. Uh, alas. Don't think we're going to get that option. But I'll take that back. So here's the funny thing, then. We actually could walk away for, like, 20 minutes and get as many evasions as possible and get some free XP. See? It worked. I hate to say it, but it's actually... Well, no, never mind. Our artillery cannon's... Go nope, nope, we can shut down the artillery cannon. Yeah, I hate to say it because it's scum, but we're going to do it. We're just going to walk away for 20 minutes and enjoy the free XP and say, Haha, loser. Well, we didn't even have to wait for a full 20 minutes. And now our guys are at the maximum piloting and engine and shield levels. So now our shields charge faster. We have better evasion chance. Across the board, this is great. The only thing we need to do now is just level up our weapons guy. Yeah, this is a little bit cheaty, but this is also the dream. This is what you look for. You use whatever advantage you can get. I mean, it's not like, you know, there's any sense of urgency or anything in this game. Eh, whatever. The ship breaks apart and you quickly salvage what you can. A little bit. Also, the outpost is thrilled, so they give me more fuel and more scrap. Nice. Uh, distress beacon... Ugh. I don't think... I think we can get to the store and then back, but I don't think we can get to the Distress Beacon and then to the exit in time. We're going to go to the store. Actually, we may not be able to even do that. This may have been a mistake. But I'm going to sell my hull repair thing, since we don't need that. It's worth 42 freaking scrap. Not bad. Drone control could become useful for us. Crew teleporter? No. Scrap recovery arm? Oh my god, yes. Okay, well worth it. Well worth it. That gets me an extra 10% scrap for the rest of the game. Obviously, we want that as much as we can. All right, uh, we are not going to get to the exit before the rebels get close. So this is dangerous. We'll have to fight a rebel ship to escape. Oh, good, a solar flare! You arrive at the beacon to find yourself dangerously close to the star. An automated rebel ship impervious to the heat moves in to engage. Well, I'm not impervious to the heat. We're going to have our ship set on fire randomly. This is going to hurt. Let's try to knock out their weapon system before they can do too much damage to us. Pew, pew. Doop, doop, doop. Okay, we need to get out of here. We need to get out of here quickly. Quick as we dang well can. Where's that solar flare? I know you're on your way. I know you're coming. Well, those misses, sir, aren't going to help anything. At least you can't dodge now. All right, where's the fire? What's the damage? Where's it going to be? Whoosh. Actually, best place it could have been. Let's open up a vent into space and de just get rid of the oxygen in the room. Starve the fire. Please starve the fire. Thank you, it's gone. Okay. And we get 14 scrap and some more fuel. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. All right, the exit is in the warning zone. Here we go. I think we're going to find a scout. Yep, the rebel fleet's really close by. You found the exit beacon, but the rebels got here first. You must survive long enough to be able to jump. Okay, well, uh, this is dangerous, and he, of course, is now going to board my ship. Good news is I have a Mantis, who can do a lot of damage to you. So let's go pew pew pew. Let's actually send in uh, somebody to assist. The NG takes a lot of damage, but he's not going to be getting hit first. Uh, I need to destroy... 
Honestly, I need to destroy your shields before you can do too much. Ah, I can't even break through. It's really hard. Okay, please don't die, Mr. Mantis. ASB target locked? What is that? Oh, good. The fleet's anti-ship batteries are targeting me. Yay! Okay, run. Run. Yep, they're shooting at me. Oh, my God. There's great balls of fire. Literally. All right. Oh, my God! I have never... This is, this is new. They've made this a lot worse than it used to be. Uh, the FTL drive is still generating, recharging, but it's going to take a while. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, that did a little, but not much. Oh, we need to get the heck out of here. I don't know if I can destroy this ship in time. Here comes the ship. It's shooting me. Oh, no! This is actually really bad. Okay, I don't know if the scrap recovery arm was worth it or not. Boom! Ow! Run! Next sector! Let's go to a civilian sector. They're friendly. Ah! Okay, that was... That was a little bit dangerous. Um, but we made it. Let's send the NG and the rock guy to go and repair over here. Let's send you to the med bay. And try to heal up. Because I don't want anyone to die on my watch. We took a lot of damage. But again, remember, out of that, we ended up getting... The, uh... We ended up getting the scrap recovery arm. So... Maybe eventually it'll pay for itself, or maybe it won't. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Please repair that breach. Get out of there. Actually, all of you just get out. Okay, we're fine. We need to go and repair somewhere, but we'll be fine. Yikes, man. Don't get caught by the rebel fleet. Let that be a warning to the, lo to the lot of us. Ready to jump. Where should we go? I guess there is a possible ship detected. Let's try down there and see if there's someone to kill. A solar flare again? Oh, yay. And powered outriders. Okay, the ship will gradually overheat. A pirate is oblivious to the danger. Blah, blah, blah. He's going to hack me. My oxygen system for some reason. That's just mean-spirited, but okay. Um, You can't actually pierce my shields here. So I need to kill you as quickly as possible. So that we don't die to the solar flare. But I'm not at all concerned about you. Your weapon systems are insignificant to me. Let's actually try destroying his cockpit so he can't dodge me. Pew, pew, pew. Doop, doop, doop. Okay. Follows up with more damage to the shields. Here comes the solar flare. Where's it gonna be? Where's it gonna be? Whoosh! Okay, it immediately destroys my sensors. Oh, you hate to see it. Okay, well, the good news is the fire guys are invincible to fire. He can't burn. He's a rock. So, I'll let him put it out. Uh, let's just destroy this. I'm gonna send the NG to go and assist. Repair. Okay, seems that we are in good shape. Oh, good, more fire. Okay, twenty-seven scrap. We're gonna we're gonna have to get the heck out of here. Yeah, I can't wait for the next solar flare. We're gonna have to move. Uh, I can still get to the store if I go down this way. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more scrap before we go there. Maybe we find something really good to buy. And the forward scouts. They are trying to escape. So I have to target the. Um... All right, you get out of there. I'm going to have to target the um, engines to have a chance. Okay. He, again, can't do any damage. The question really is, can we shoot down his... Um, can we destroy his engine so he doesn't escape? That's pretty much all there is to it. He can't do any damage to me, though. Uh, can we please put out these fires? Pew, pew, pew. Doop, doop, doop. Okay, we'll target the cockpit next until he need both of those in order to get away. I mean, we've gotten really lucky with the particular weapon types of our enemies here. Just getting caught by the rebels was our big downfall. Enemy FTL delayed. Let's target his engines again. Close all the doors. Let the oxygen regen. He's finished repairing his engines. Pew, pew, pew. Okay. Um, let's just... Oh, there we go. Our artillery barrage did the rest. Okay, that was easy enough. 21 scrap, another missile, and a drone part. Okay, I think we can go to the store now. 90 scrap is reasonable to buy something pretty good if we want it. What do you got? Drone control, cloaking, clone bay. Drones. Also, weapons. Including the halberd beam, which is actually really strong, but what does require a lot of power. The thing is, if there's no shields, it actually does two damage per hit. Sorry, per room hit, which is a lot. So this thing shreds, as long as you can pile it up with a burst laser to keep their shields down. 
This, on the other hand, does one damage per room hit. Here's the reason that this is still better. If our enemy has even one shield bar left, this can still pierce it and do one damage per room. If it has two shields, we can't do anything. I think we have to do this, and we're going to have to save up a lot of power. So let's do that. But also, let's repair my ship a bit. At least this much. There may be, Maybe we'll get an event where someone will repair my ship for free, but this is something at least. Okay, if I can get a lot of power, these two combined are very, very potent. Let's get into the nebula and delay the rebels as much as possible. Okay, uh, we can get seven fuel for one drone part. Yes, really good deal. A distress beacon. Hmm. This has some ion storm. I don't want to go there. I think we want to go to the distress beacon and try for something really good. What are you going to give me? We've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Hail them. Four missiles? I politely decline. I'm sorry you're going to drift in space and die now. Because my mission's more important. I don't know. Wasn't exactly the moral choice. Should have given them fuel, but we, they didn't give me anything in particular. Nothing useful here. Alright, let's bounce over this direction. What are we going to find? We find an automated ship again. Let's attack it to get to the sensor station. And... Oh, they are mind-controlling my mantis. You hate to see it. Okay. Well, it's going to make things a little difficult. I kind of need to shut down your weapons before the missiles become a huge threat, though. Pew, pew, pew. Well, shut down that. Okay. You're no longer mind-controlled, at least, so that's good. Your ion cannons don't bother me at all. Maybe we hit the cockpits? I don't know. Kind of depends on if he switches power over to the... Um, if he switches power over to the missile system. Nah, I think we're going to be alright. Let's, uh, let's make sure you can't do that mind control nonsense ever again. I hate that. Pew, pew, pew. Doop, doop, doop. And he tried, but we shut it down before he could do any more damage, so that's fine. We are A-OK, -okay, everybody. A-OK. -okay. Boop, boop, boop. Done. Alright, what are you going to give me? 13 scrap? That's not a lot. Okay, uh, let's go this way. I don't think we're going to get to that other store, so... Another scout. We could defend an outpost. Sure. I mean, maybe the outpost will give me some goodies. I don't know. Okay, you have a burst laser that actually can break through my shields. Hopefully our evasion chance will save me one of the blasts. Both fire at the same time. There goes your burst laser. And you did a little hole damage, but not a lot. So I think we are just fine for the rest of this fight. Anyone injured? Everyone's looking more or less okay. Oh, you drop an ion bomb inside of my ship, huh? So that's what this is. It teleports a bomb aboard a ship and shuts down a subsystem. Why he would send it to an empty room is beyond me. It does nothing useful. That was easy enough. 11 more scrap and some fuel. Also, the outpost hails me and gives me 25 more scrap and the anti-ship beam drone too. Take this on the house. I mean, what does that do? Is it good? Required power 3. Combat drone that repeatedly attacks with a larger beam weapon. Uh, so is that better, do you think, than the halberd beam? Because they both require three. This would also require some drone control, which I don't have, but still. I don't know. We can't quite afford three bars of power. We need 75 scrap. So we're going to hold off on any upgrades for now. I can still get to the exit from here. Actually, the store does get to the exit, but I'm not sure we're going to have time. Still, we can at least make one more jump. So let's try this. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Scrap recovery arm allows us to mine the asteroids and get 28 more scrap. That's beautiful. Let's uh, save the scrap until I can get to the store. Maybe we decide we want to buy something there. Ah, wait a minute, though. I think that there's a very solid chance that the rebels will be too close, and last time we nearly died. You know what? We're not taking the risk. I'm going to buy three bars of power. We're going to turn on our... Oh, wait. I can't turn on the halberd beam yet. We need to upgrade our weapons itself. Crap. I need even more power. Okay. Well, it's fine. Let's go to the exit. I'm not risking it. And we find it his civilian ship. We arrive at the next beacon to be immediately hailed by a small shuttle. We are being attacked by pirates. Let's assist them. Power up the weapons and engage the pirate. He has two shields. Uh, a beam weapon. And I think... A very short burst laser. I don't think he can damage me. 
No, he is physically incapable of hurting me. Well, let's try to damage his shields a little bit while we wait for our artillery laser to do the rest of the job. Should be easy, though. There we go. Easy. 25 scrap, couple missiles, and a drone part. Contact the civilian ship. Another 25 scrap, a drone part, and a missile. Well, that was amazing. One, two. Can't quite afford the third one, but we're getting close. All right. Uh, yeah, see? That was perfectly in the line. If we had gone to the store, we would have had to fight all that nonsense again, and we might have died. Let's move on to the next sector. Zoltan Homeworld. I like the Zoltans. They're nice, and they might, I might be able to pick one up. They're useful. All right. Let's go to the Distress Beacon and see who needs some help. Anyone important? Well, you find a source of the distress call, a small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and they're threatening to destroy the station. Fire suppression system is not working, but we have a rock crew. We can send him in there to destroy it and he won't get burned. Your rock soldier tears through the airlock directly into the fire. You've never seen someone that large move that fast. It disperses as much fire suppression as possible into the heart of the blaze and eventually the fire starts to die down. Contact the survivors. We got 41 scrap. And the Zoltan Shield Bypass? That's so good! First off, we're in a Zoltan area. If we get attacked by Zoltans, now I can bypass them. Hang on. Allows crew and bomb teleportation and mind control to work through the super shields. Okay. If I had a bomb teleport, or if I wanted to use boarding parties, this would be very, very useful. I'm going to hold on to this for now. You never know. Uh, but let's go ahead and upgrade our weapon system. And now we can turn on the halberd beam. So now we have a super weapon, artillery weapon, a burst laser, and a halberd beam. Pretty strong setup. I am happy about that. But this is a good place to end this video, I think. So thank you all for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed and are looking forward to this very short series. If so, then I ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.